The automobile and its influence on the culture of the world has been very impactful, to say the least. From its humble beginnings as a replacement for traditional transportation to its now insane feats of engineering, you cannot tell me an interest in cars isn't bound to bloom, because what people can make with their cars is crazy, to say the least. The question I pose today is, how has car culture affected the world around it? More specifically, how has it affected music? What should be playing in the car while I'm blasting a V10 down the back hills of California passing by the cliff edges that are dyed with the cream orange? of the sun. But enough remains of that wonderful V12 howl to thrill even the most jaded sports car fan. Drive a Diablo and expect to be the center of attention wherever you go. My attachment to Vaporwave has led me to believe it is what I should be listening to in such a scenario. This car right here, the Lamborghini Countach, is just a prime example of how cars can weave its way into culture and form its Vaporwave roots to present its outrun debut. This car in particular shows how influential a car can be in culture. Nothing represents the not-so-distant past better than this car in all of its boxy retro glory. But this is just a singular car. Are there any other music genres focused on car culture and its high intensity antics? I ain't been up on the block in a minute. I've been missing out the walk with a minute. I've been building all the blocks like me. Elliot got water dripping out the city. Oh my God, boy, he got his glass. Oh my God, boy, that born top. What? Sip and walk, make my heart stop. Yes. Drift culture is full of funk, and I'm not talking about your normal 70s funk. Replace the F with a PH and you have this gritty, deep, and aggressive music genre that has been shaping drift culture since its inception. Mixing the grittiness of Memphis rap and distorting its sample into a bass-heavy track is something no one ever expected to be associated with this subgenre of car culture. But one infamous funk artist by the name of Pharmacist decided to show the world how it should be done. <laughs> And from then on, this simple music genre would stylistically change the way we see cars in drift culture. Funk is the new Eurobeat for Supra's 86s and RX-7s clapped out, roaring down the midnight streets of Tokyo. And funk has invaded car culture in recent years as a development that reflects its laid-back, deep, and heavy attitude. This all sounds super arbitrary, and I can't really explain funk and its appeal to me without comparing it to a genre that is essentially its polar opposite. Hyperpop is a genre that I just can't get into. I get its message, I get why it's so appealing, but I can't put my finger on why I find it so taxing to listen to. I know hyperpop is exactly what its name implies. The popular trends of modern popular music are now blended with maximalist production and high-pitched vocals. Combined with its high BPM, it feels like a sugar rush of a song. At times, it feels a little too sweet for my taste. I remember my first listen to artists such as Blade and 100 Gex, and I remember thinking these songs were jokes, frankly, and my opinion of them has not shifted that much since then. Which is why the alternative polar opposite of this genre is the most bass-heavy track with slow grandeur production and lower-pitched voices that almost sound distorted by comparison. Funk takes all the bright rainbow sounds of a modern hyperpop song and turns them into a muddled storm of pure bliss. And tracing back funk to its SoundCloud origins, we can see the unrefined edges of unbridled creative production from the likes of artists sitting on their computers for hours of a time. The PH in funk is supposed to be a spin-off of its strange combination of sampling. It takes the Memphis-styled rap, which inherently sounds slow and menacing, and takes the high-energy beats of 70s funk music to create a perfect combination with some of its earliest amateur examples being loud and rambunctious. And the sampling doesn't have to be limited to Memphis rap. Other genres of underground rap such as trap can be sampled for its similar deep tones and crazy beats, and influences of funk have been shot up into relative internet mainstream. Freddie Dredd has long been known for his twist on funk when he samples Brazilian bossa music for all things. 
body on the flow. I don't need you live the more. Peace of mind, keep it light. The realms of underground rap has always been a place for creative and interesting ideas to bloom, and funk is no exception. Funk, in a way, goes against the mainstream. The high-energy songs of today are contrasted with funk's deep, brutalist nature, and its hold on car culture is unexpected yet fitting. Rap has always been associated with cars, and now it's funk's turn to take that mantle.